Hi there, in this video I'm going to be talking about functional misspecification and what are the problems this yields for econometric analysis? Well, let's remind ourselves of what econometrics is all about. We've got some sort of population and we don't have the entirety of the population data, we only have a small subsample from that population. And we are trying to make some inferences about the population given our sample of data. So let's think about, let's say we're interested in finding out what the effect of age is on wages or average weekly wages. So, and we can perhaps think that there was some sort of population process with, which was that wages is equal to alpha plus beta times, or beta one times age, plus beta two times age squared plus some sort of error. With these sort of, uh, and in this equation, beta one would be greater than zero and beta two would be less than zero. And that's because you can think about there being sort of an inverted U shape in terms of the return of age to wages. When someone's very young, they've ju just left university, being slightly older means they're slightly more experienced in general, which means that they can command a slightly higher age. So in the sort of first half of your life, this term tends to dominate, uh, dominate rather. Whereas in the second part of an individual's life, it turns out that perhaps when an individual gets to something like 55, their actual wage on average starts to decline. And that could be for a number of reasons. One of them, because people tend to start retiring at that age. So there is some sort of population process which is an inverted U-shape of the effect of age on wages. Obviously, most of the time we don't actually have what the population process is. We, we're trying to gauge what the population process is. So let's say we only had a sample of the data and for that sample we had an individual or, or a whole host of individuals wages and we could sort of plot these points on a 2D diagram of wages against age and perhaps it looks something like this. I should probably make it a bit more noisy because processes are never quite this compact and, and uh, easy in real life. So perhaps this is what the actual um, our sample looks like. And not knowing the population process and, and because we haven't charted the data, perhaps we actually fit a purely linear model to our data. So we just fit wages being determined by age and not age squared. So if I use least squared regression, our least squared estimator line is going to look something like that, where least squared estimators here have tried to minimize the sum of square distances of points from that line. And perhaps from this, we get out an estimate of beta, and perhaps it's $10. So this suggests that our return to an extra year of age is $10 per week. And we should examine about why is this not a good picture about what's actually going on. Well, in truth, this has given us a very misleading estimate of what the effect of ages are on wage. It suggests that it's constant throughout life. When in fact, we know that the population process is something like an inverted U. When an individual is young, perhaps an extra year of um, age, in terms of being indicative of experience means that their wages can actually go up by a hundred dollars for every extra year of age. Then when, so, so our figure of ten dollars here drastically underestimates that effect for people who are, are this sort of age. But conversely our estimate of um, people when they sort of get to retirement age is also grossly wrong. Perhaps an extra year of age when you're sort of 60 or 55 means that you actually command $100 less per week in wages. So not only has our sort of linear estimate of the effect of ages on wage been uh, grossly sort of wrong for people who are young, it also is very wrong for people who are very old as well. It not only uh, is wrong in terms of magnitude, it's also wrong in terms of sign. So I hope that this has illustrated how functional misspecification, in this case, omission of 
age squared from the regression because functional misspecification is a kind of an another way to think about it is a kind of omitted variable bias um, how this has led us to have biased estimates of the effect of ages on wages in the population. Because we didn't specify a model correctly, we thought that there was a sort of constant returns to um, age in terms of wages, when in fact, almost certainly, there is some sort of non-linear return of ages, or of age to wages.